guys we all know this one the Amiga 500 plus my viewers my subscribers we love this one this is an absolute gem but look what I got look what I got guys this one first time ever first time ever I have seen one of these it's called Amstrad CPC 464 let's dive in and take a closer look at this computer all right first time ever let's check a look at this one together I have absolutely no knowledge about it I'm not gonna read nothing about it I'm not gonna test and try nothing this is how it will be if you buy one of these Amstrad here uh, today and experience it for the first time so you know my channel is all about sharing my retro experience with you guys and see what the hell all this is retro machines are all about so let's take the camera just a tad closer there we go all right up here it says amstrad 64k so it has got 64 kilobytes of ram which means it was a computer that was uh, from the Commodore 64 times era, um, a competitioner to the Commodore 64. Color personal computer, CPC 464. We got an on light over there, color. We have on and off, on and off switch on the side and a volume adjustment knob <laughs> on the side let's check out the back we got a built-in speaker nice we've got something called monitor 6 volt DC power connector 4 up that must be a 4 player connector floppy disk so we can have floppies just like the Commodore 64 nice this one says printer this must be the user port IO this must be a joystick port nothing on the other side and nothing down under here I'll start 64k microcomputer 5 volt DC 2 amps made in Korea all right guys let's um <laughs> that's the computer and over here let's turn the camera just a bit over here we have a monitor which has got a power connector at the back and at the front here it's got two cables and <laughs> As I can see, these two cables goes into the back of this computer. So we give this monitor power and it has got an DC adapter inside that will provide the computer with 5 volts. That's nice, guys. So let's plug this one in. Oh, wait. CPC. Wait. I make a joystick, man. Oh, nice. Look at this. CPC. <laughs> now I got a joystick for it. Nice. Let's connect this one. Okay, I will connect everything <laughs> and uh, give this one some power. All right, guys. Everything is connected as far as I know. <laughs> I had to turn off the light at the top in my room because of the CO2 monitor it was just lit up um, by the reflexes. So it is just a tad dark. We have an LED light that gives this yellow greenish look and we have this uh, light at the side over there a little candle because it's winter so let's just give this one some power guys as I can see the monitor has got power on here don't blow up and 
nothing happens. Maybe I, oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. It's a monochrome. Well, on the computer it says 64K per, uh, color personal computer. Maybe you could <laughs> maybe you could buy a cheaper monitor, guys, and have it uh, this greenish. And maybe you can buy a module and make it color. I don't know. Yeah, it is what it is. So let's just. Um, I mean, first time ever I see one of these. We got syntax error. All right. Escape tab shift. It works. Primary keys. And we got a cassette tape at the side. Let's just. Um, yeah. And with this one, I got a lot of games. <laughs> I want to try to load a game just because I want to check out the sound quality of the situ oh, of the uh, audio chip because this is from the Commodore 64 era and how was it compared to the SID chip? <laughs> so I have to read now. Damn. <laughs> um, Okay, let's open this one and let's take this kiss it and put it in. It must be like this. Okay. Now on the Commodore 64, you just write load and enter. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait. So, 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 loading instructions, guys. <laughs> We're learning every day. Let's check out. Reset computer by holding down control, shift, and escape keys. So we have caps, control, shift, and escape. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, control, shift, escape, that's for resetting. Yeah, hold them down all together in that order, okay. Place cassette into the data quarter. We did that. Rewind the tape to beginning. We did that. Yeah. Okay. Press control and small enter keys. Small enter key. Oh, that must be this one. Okay. Control and Oh, nice! Press play and any key. Play and... <laughs> nice. This program will take about five to 10 minutes to load. What the hell? 10 minutes? Well, while it's loading, let oh shit! What the? Yeah. <laughs> let me tell you one thing, guys. I remember this name, Armstrong. One kid from our school had this Amstrad and he was like, I have one of these, the cassette tape is built in, blah, blah, blah. It's so much better than the Commodore 64. But I'm telling you, every time we had lunch break and all that, oh, this is like Commodore 64. Every time we were out, you know, he was just crying at the schoolyard because we exchanged Commodore 64 cassette tapes you know, crack games and all that. We had so much fun back then. And this lonely guy that had his arm start, he was just crying. <laughs> all right, let's just move the camera a bit and let's look at some of the games, guys. Yeah, it's loading. Nice. All right, slow movements. Let's 
slow, slow movements. All right. Okay, let's see. The game that is loaded is this one. I can uh, turn on the lights now because we don't have no reflections. Okay, we have got Harrier attack. Harrier attack. Harrier attack. Mission Jupiter. All right. Terra Molonis. All right. Oh, storm. Looks nice. Storm. Medensk Violining. Nice. One man and his droid. Nice. Into Oblivion. So we could see some screenshots of the gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it says 1984, different times back then, guys. Chiller. Nice. Formula One simulator. Soul of a robot. All right. Soul of another robot. Cool man. Something, something. I don't know. Red zone. Red zone. <laughs> Speed King. Something like motorcycles. Nice. Speed King. Kane. Kane Armstrad Schneider 464-664-6128 So there were different models of this computer Oh, this is the game that is loading We have duplet skies Sea base delta Nice Something something Something, something. We got Zorro. We got Star Wreck. We got Sky Fox. And the game's still loading. <laughs> we got something, something again. Cave of Doom. Nice. Oh, it's like Dick Duck. On the Commodore 64. Oh, I'm gonna try this one. I mean, it's a lot of original games, guys. In, you know, in nice condition. First division uh, football managers thing. See base something. We got trust. Yeah. Bridget. All right. Killer Pete. Oh, mommy. Back to reality. Hyperbole. Uh, Fighter. Pilot. All right. The Galactic Plague. Oh man, we have a lot of games. Raster Scan. I don't know if some of these games are. Oh, something happened. Oh. 
okay. Something happened. Uh, it cleared the the screen, and it's about to um, what's it called? It's about to make some new uh, a new picture of some sort of picture, you know, guys. Sultan's maze. <laughs> Sub song. Well, this one is loading so breaking slow that um, I think I have to cut the video here. And and when the loading is done, I mean, look at us of all these games, guys. Now, if you're asking Retro Django, usually you're all into Amigas, Retro PCs, Commodore 64s, and all that. Why in God's name that you buy this one um, first of all I want to have as much retro stuff on my YouTube channel as possible you all know the guys uh, second of all if I have something some nostalgic reasons some love for these old systems then I want to try them out today when I'm an old uh, I'm a grown old ass man you know I'm not a kid anymore but I I'm not sure, but I bought some Amigas or I did some trades. I I like to trade uh, something that I had reviewed, something that is on my channel, that is you know all repaired, everything is perfect condition, and it's on YouTube. Then I lose interest. Then I want to trade with something else. Something happened. The game is ready, guys. So I bought some Amiga stuff and this one was included so yeah all right let's just turn off the lights <laughs> there we go let's set the camera oh it flickers on the camera I'm so sorry guys the real deal it's a crystal clear picture okay it says press M during game to toggle music on we have to have the music on so I'm going to try this, my lovely Amiga joystick, it's on CPC 464, uh, and you can actually, oh yes, <laughs> this is crap compared to the Commodore 64. Okay, I'm this little chopper. Oh, shit. I'm trying to shoot. Yeah. So what do I do? I need to read the manual. That. Oh my God. Was that it? You have to wait 10 minutes for this. I mean, today, Commodore 64 games, they're still fun, but, um, well, when I don't have no nostalgic love for these, then, oh. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, man. To that guy from our school, I'm really sorry you had one of these when, the other kids had the Commodore 64, <laughs> but it is what it is, guys. Well, this one was my review of the Armstrong CPC 64, and uh, after this video is uploaded, I'm gonna put this one out for trade. I am not interested in this system. So uh, it will be traded for something else, guys. I want to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I learned a lot. I learned that this is nothing for me. I learned that I didn't, um, you know, I had a super nice Commodore 64 and uh, I'm happy I didn't buy one of these. And my dad didn't buy me one of these when I was a little kid. So again, Thank you for watching guys, if you haven't uh, tried this system, I hope you have learned something from this video, I have. <laughs>
So until next time, click on that subscribe button so we can see each other on the next video. Have a great day guys. Bye.